Oh, okay, and welcome to this week's Android Weekly App Review. Don't forget to leave your recommendations in the comment section down below. And also, um, give the video a thumbs up. Let's see if we could try to hit 50 likes. I know we could do it. And let's go. The first application when you take a look at is Rescue Robbie. And this is where you play as a small robot. And the main objective is to get him inside the box with his picture on it. So you do this by tapping and destroying the boxes to move and roll him across into the main box. Um, the graphics are bright, colourful and overall uh, well done. The gameplay um, is good, kind of reminds me of Angry Birds and uh, it's very addictive. There's a lot of levels that you could play through, each one bring new things that you could do, new uh, ways that you could uh, get the get Robbie into the box. Um, I've been playing it for a while now, I've been really enjoying it, I'm kind of hooked onto the game. It's definitely worth a try. I rate this application 9.5 out of 10. The next application we're taking a look at is Zombie Smasher. And this is a very simple game. All you need to do is tap on the screen, squashing all the different types of zombies that are running on the screen. And you need to make sure that they don't reach the end. Because if you if they reach the end, you're going to lose a life. And you only get three lives. Um, so you need to use them wisely and you know try not to um, uh, let them get across. As um, levels go on, they do add different things like humans that you have to avoid hitting and it does get tricky because they're moving fast, they're moving in different directions at different speeds so you kind of need to be quick and precise and you know just make sure you're hitting the targets correctly. Overall it's a very enjoyable game to play uh, but it does get slightly repetitive after a while but it's still a great game, I'll create this application 7 out of 10. The next application we're taking a look at is Chrome Beta. This is very similar to the standard Chrome browser but slightly better. And if you didn't know already the standard Chrome web browser wasn't that great. It was a bit unresponsive and it didn't work as well as the other ones or even the default ones that it came with. But now in the beta they're addressing those issues. They're making it more um, faster, more responsive, you know, and easier to use, which is great. Um, this is still in beta so there's still a lot of bugs. But for the most part, it runs fine. Web browsers, um, web pages seem to load up fast. Pinch to zoom and double tap works great. Overall, it's getting slowly better, but it's not quite there yet. And hopefully, they can make it as good as the stock one or even other ones out there. But if you're interested, definitely go check this out. I'll rate this application five out of ten. The next application we're taking a look at is Drag Race Bike Edition, and this is where you drag race motorcycles to become the best. In order to win you need to make sure you shift gears at precisely the right time to go as fast as possible and when this is not enough you know you got your nitrous you know to catch them back up. As you progress races will become harder and you can upgrade your bike you know you could upgrade things like the engine suspension nitrous and all of that good stuff so you can make it go faster and you know basically become the best. Um, my only complaint with the game is the graphics it could have been a little bit better they're the graphics are nice and simple but it could have been a little bit better but overall it's still a great game to play and I rate this application 7 out of 10 Shadow Gun Dead Zone is an online multiplayer shooter game if you remember the original Shadow Gun it's more or less the same thing but this one is solely um, online multiplayer so you can't play there's no single player campaign or anything like that um, there are two different game modes uh, deathmatch and zone control and you can play with up to 12 other players the gameplay is great, it's really enjoyable to play, I, I've been playing it and I've had a lot of fun killing noobs. Um, especially if you have friends you could team up and uh, play with them, it makes the game a lot better. The graphics are good, um, a lot of detail in the map and in the character, you can adjust the settings, the graphic settings, uh, make it higher if you have a higher end phone or tablet. And if you don't have a, such a good phone you can lower the settings down to still enjoy the game. Overall it's a great game to play. Definitely try this game out if you haven't already. I rate this application 9 out of 10. This week's live wallpaper is the Xperia Z live wallpaper. It was inspired by the background on the Sony Xperia Z but with nice uh, floating particles. You can adjust the colours, the size, the speed, all of that good stuff you know, to make it how you want it, you know, to suit your style. So if you don't like this colour you could change it to another or you could change the speed and all that good stuff. The lab wallpaper looks sharp and it fits my Nexus 4 without any problems at all and it doesn't impact performance, it runs smooth um, on my phone. 
overall it's just a beautiful free level paper that you definitely have to try out for yourself i'll give this application 8 out of 10 and that's about it for the video um leave, don't forget to leave your recommendations down below leave your comments let me know what you think um also subscribe if you want to see more videos like i said before give the video a thumbs up let's see if you could hit 50 likes and thanks for watching peace